Diba? Pag may sakit ka, go to a doctor. So if you want someone to lead you, then go someone to someone who knows politics and who knows public administration, diba? knows public policy. Hindi yung on-the-job training siya, okay? Kayo nga, hindi kayo kukuhanin sa work if you don't have you know on-the-job practicum experience, diba? Experience. Same thing with being a president. If you want change, Okay, it will be it it rests on us, the the younger generation. So that's the reason why you know we need to be the change that we need to see that we want to see in our society. My God, what a mess, universe, diba? <laughs> So, hello, Jamily. Welcome back to another episode of Jam Talks. Are you ready for today's episode? I am Katri Sachanova. And I am Rose Lope, your host for today. And I am sure Kat na they are super ready and also curious about today's episode. But wait, let me introduce our special host for today. Please welcome Ms. Carmela Ongson, Jam's Editor-in-Chief. Hello everyone, I am JAMS Editor-in-Chief, Carmela Ongson, and I'm so excited and I can't wait to learn more about politics and the upcoming election. But first, we have a surprise for all of our viewers. Oo nga pala, get a chance to win 50 pesos by GCash by sharing your reflections or anything that you have learned for this episode. All you have to do is comment below what you learned from the podcast and we will handpick one winner and reveal them on our next episode. Yeah, don't forget to listen and we hope you learn something new, fundamental, and interesting. So for today's podcast, we will be talking about the upcoming elections and politics. Since the elections are near and we believe that it is our responsibility to provide you with information about some things we are curious about related to this. Tama ka dyan. Kaya we're also thankful because some of you answered our survey and also gave out some questions that you are curious about. So let's get right on to it. So let me introduce Saint Scholasticus, LMS Administrator, Assistant Professor, and everyone's favorite teacher, Miss Faye Raphael. Hey, favorite teacher. Hey, Miss Faye. Favorite teacher. Oh, joke. <laughs> sure kayo. I <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> May ganon. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, welcome po. Um, I hope you're doing well. And kamusta po kayo? I'm good. So, it's currently 5 p.m. and I've been online since 8 this morning. Okay. So, <laughs> but I'm good. Anything for for Jam? Oh, di ba? Um, <laughs> po for ano, accepting our invitation. Of po course. And helping us po use our platform, Jam Talks, to give knowledge and awareness po regarding the upcoming election since next month na po yun. Papalapit na ng papalapit. Yes. The first question is, since there are a lot of people running for presidency and vice president, also there are a lot of politicians who have different backgrounds, education, and platforms, what are the things that we should consider in choosing a candidate? Basically, um, you have to know yourself first, okay? You have to know what you believe in, what, where do you stand in issues, especially for the first-time voters. Um, where do you stand on these issues? And then who is the candidate that is most closest to, to where you stand in, in these issues? Um the thing about the Philippines, and I, I think this will be the theme of our talk um, for this afternoon, is, is basically um, politics shouldn't be this chaotic. You know, hindi to dapat maging drama or telenovela ganito. Um, because politics should be the one to organize society and organized government as well. That is the role of politics. And I've been studying politics, you know, I'm a kulas, I graduated in, in Saints Co. And these are the things that we've been studying um, ever since. It's why, bakit kirito kagulo ang, ang politics here in the Philippines? First of all, 
you have to be loyal to what you believe in, okay? And that is finding what your political ideology is. Parang malalim siya, okay, malalim siya, but in a sense, this is your identity, your political identity. However, yun nga, it's more fun here in the Philippines. So basically, you're voting basically for a person. And politics shouldn't be that. You should not be loyal to a person, right? I mean, in politics, ah, pero syempre in real life, I mean, you have loyal. to be loyal. <laughs> Lang loyal ka. But in politics, you're not loyal to a person, but you are loyal to your beliefs. Diba? To your political ideology. That is um, who you're going to be loyal with. So, of course, we're not going to tell you who you're going to vote for, but you have to be true to yourself and you need to know which of the candidates are the closest one to which you believe in. Uh, yung elections right now is parang blind following na. Parang they just support the candidate because of the hype. But when they're yeah. asked um, what their platform is, parang wala sila masagot. It's just that, you know, they believe that the person can do something great for the country. You know, it's part of our political culture as well as Filipinos. It's so hard to go away with those type of culture. And that's why we are, you know, we're trying to get everyone to be the participant para ang maging political culture natin will be more of the participant one. Okay po. So, what are your thoughts about po of, about fake news regarding political candidates, especially po the one from Trolls? Yeah. Um, the thing about the internet, okay, is um, what we call the great leveler. Okay, now, you know, the information that you have is so much, <laughs> meaning, you know, as someone as, for example, me who have studied politics and international relations since I was in college, and then someone who had just Googled things, okay, is now spewing things on the internet, and now people are believing him. And oftentimes, you know, you're wondering, they're being paid for this. Okay, it's a tactic. Yeah, it's part na. It's actually part na. We cannot police the the um, Twitter or Facebook. It will be up to us. We need to filter these things out, and that's the reason why you need to research what they're saying. You need to be more. Fact check. Yeah, you need to fact check what they're saying. I have a follow-up question for sure. regarding that. Um, how do you define po negative campaigning? Negative campaigning. You know that's that's also a political strategy, okay? In 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 terms of alam mo, may mga political strategies ito mga at our um, candidates, okay? And they're being paid a lot, okay? That's Grabe. that's one string. Oh, oh, they're being paid a lot. It you usually a negative campaigning is when you're outing your opponent. Okay, you're digging up dirt against that that opponent, and you're slightly okay. You're not overtly. I mean, hindi mo sasabihin na o siya ganito ganyan, but you're overt. You're slightly trickling down that information to the public. Yeah. Us, our first-time voters, do you have any advice? Also, are there any tips you can give during the election day? So just not to wear your candidate's color. Di ba po may mga ganon? As yeah. Mga, mm-hmm. Recently po, si may mga nakita din po akong mga tweets na nag advice na huwag daw po magsuot ng gantong color sa mm-hmm. election. election. Yeah. Sa voting day po, ganon. Okay, so for for my advice, I, I think we can go back to the question number one. We're in. Mm-hmm. Um, I think kailangan yun ang lista. Ilista yun na kung sino yung mga oh. mga ibo votes, yung mga ibo vote ninyo, so that you'll have a you know you'll have a list ready for for you guys. At hindi kayo tumagal sa voting booth. Yeah. Um, tips. Uh, uh, beforehand, you go to the place, the polling place, okay? Para hindi kayo, you know, parang, asa na ako? Hindi kayo medyo maguluhan on, on the procedures. And um, um, if there is already a list kung saan kayo yung naka-register, then most probably um, uh, makikita nyo na siya. Um, but usually with your families, your Especially, magkakapareho kayo ng surnames, you're going to be with your family. 
for first time voters um yeah don't wear the the color of the candidates you're you're going to vote for again this is for your safety okay but you can wear whatever you want if you're really proud of that you can do that but again it's for your security and safety kasi nga it's a very volatile election right now so baka kasi magagulo and madamay kayo sa gulo mm. so it's for safety and security purposes and do not If someone is going to ask you, a stranger is going to ask you, oh, who's you're going to vote for? You know, mga small talk na ganon. As much as possible, don't huwag kayong magkwento. <laughs> okay? Um, again, this is for your safety and security. But if it's family, you know, that's fine kapag nagkwentuhan kayo doon. But is there a chance kaya, miss, na um, they'll tamper mm-hmm. the votes, like, change... Of course, there's a possibility on that. <laughs> there is, of course, there's a, a possibility. That's one thing that I'm looking at our election right now is from the previous, kasi, we're, we're on the right track on the previous election, especially the Duterte election. But because of what's happening right now, na all sides will be, will be calling for, for that kind of uh, all sides. Yan. Okay, it's scary, Sha, but yeah, just go and and vote. Okay. Miss, actually, there are a lot of people who are still undecided whenever there are mock elections. Also, there are a lot of people who choose abstain rather mm-hmm. than to vote for someone. So, what can you advise to the youth who is still undecided on who to vote for in this coming election? Okay, you have to. You have to go back to the first point that we made in this podcast, and that is, um, and that is, you have to know yourself, diba? That's the first thing, especially those na medyo nabuguluhan pa. You have to know where you stand on policies and issues, what change you want to see in in our society and in the government and you need to research on who will be the best person that is um, the closest diba, to, to your vision of what um, the Philippines is. Kung medyo malalim yun, okay? You just look at your life, okay? You just look at your life. What will be the good life for you? Okay. Okay. And then next will be how can the government help you attain that good life? So, for example, kaya mga Gen Zs, di ba? What is the kind of good life for you? Especially now that you're near graduation, alam gusto nyo if you go out and graduate, what will be what will be the good life for you? And then next is who will be the right president for you? Who will help you attain this good life? Because remember, the main job of the government is pretty much for the safeguarding of your life, okay? Safeguarding of your liberty, meaning your freedom. Next is your property, okay? And then lastly is the pursuit of happiness, okay? And to my next question, I'm like mentioned earlier, po, every vote counts and every vote is important. Uh A lot of people po are feeling hopeless because they're saying na dadayain or madadaya yung results or balota. And they began the question, the point of voting. Um, with this po, how can we convince other people to vote this coming May? And Just look at the facts, di ba? And, and one of the prime example that I'm stating here, and this is from a reliable source kasi he's also a political scientist, um, And um, last election, in the VP election, it's the millennials who carry the vote. Okay? So in this, sabi ko nga, in this election, the crucial votes will be for the Gen Zs or the first-time voters. When the final vote is cast and counted, kung sino yung pinakamaraming boto, um, whether ilan nang yun lamang niya, will be the one who will win. So you have to... Seriously, take that into your account. It can be a, a burden, yes, but you know that's your responsibility as a citizen. Uh, since all uh, all of the presidential candidates have their own senatorial slate, uh, what is the process of that, and how do they choose them, and why are they important? 
The senators are very, very important because they're the ones who are creating and making the bill that will become a law. Okay, so sila yung nago, yan po ang main work of the legislative branch, which includes the Senate and the House of Representatives. They create laws that will make your life good and easy. Okay, mm-hmm. so yan ang kanilang trabaho. It's a full time job, basically. So again, you have to track down their track record in in government. You know, ano yung mga bills and laws na pinasa nila or what are the bills and laws that they have authored if they are um, um, re-electing as um, senators. Uh, follow-up question po. Uh, each party list po endorses a presidential candidate. Ano po ba talaga yung importance ng party list and what do they do po? Okay. So, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, it's more fun here in the Philippines kaya tayo may party. May party list tayo. Um, <laughs> Supposedly, this is the job of par- political parties. That is, you are representing even the marginalized sector of your country. So, for example, sino ba mga marginalized sector? The indigenous people. Malata ang senator who is indigenous. And the representative, supposedly, ang iboboto ni Lardo, pero wala. Diba? So, paano? Paano nila mavo-voice out yung kaninang mga needs if no one is representing them in government. So the party list is there for that. Okay? For that. Ito, Miss, last question. I think we need to tackle this as a business organization. So, of course, every candidate has their own plans for the business sector. How does voting for an excellent candidate benefit the business industry and the society as a whole? Again, yeah, you need to see what Um, um, what kind of um, economy that you want to have because um, it will start there because business will grow if your economy is good, diba? Right now, we are in a, um, there's inflation, diba? You couple that up with 1,000 pesos. If you go to the grocery, how many items can you buy with 1,000 pesos? Ibig sabihin, ang hina ng pera natin as opposed to the high prices, di ba? So, yun, as business persons and economics person, you need to be, um, those are the things that you need to focus on, di ba? Ano, you can search for it. What are their political policies, um, economic policies, and financial policies as well? Mabigat yung mga yan. Kasi that will form the entirety of your economy. Okay, so there we have it. That is our last question. And we finally tackled the upcoming elections. And I hope everyone learned something significant and new. So to all voters out there, vote wisely. And if you are still undecided, study their platforms, their background, and their moral values. On behalf of Jam, thank you so much, Miss Faye. For accepting our invitation and for giving us the opportunity to learn about the upcoming elections. Unfortunately, this is the end of our podcast. So if you have any questions about politics or election, um, gaya niyo sabi ni Miss kanina, don't hesitate to ask her. Thank you so much for Miss. Um, let us now say goodbye to our guest for today, Miss Faye Rafael. And again, thank you Paul for giving us some insights. Thank you guys for inviting me and I hope you learned a lot from our discussion. Vote wisely, everyone! <laughs> okay. uh, do not forget to comment down what you learned and get the chance to win 50 pesos. You can comment on our Facebook and YouTube channel and we will handpick the best comments. So thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next episode. Again, I am Katrisa Chanova. I am Rose Lope. And I'm Carmela Ongson, and let's say... Jumpsit! <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions on who we should guess next, or if you have a particular topic for our next podcast, please leave comments on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, or directly send us a message. Thank you!